So, first thing we're going to want to do is some plastic at the bottom of this. That's metal, and that can make electricity. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I took some uh, electrical tape, this is red, um, and put it in the bottom. It's not the prettiest thing, but it works. So the next step is to drill holes for our switches. And your switches so you come with a washer and a little nut that screws on. So um, find the correct size drill bit and drill two holes. Probably I'd say on the side. Right? Yeah, one there, then one there. So I'll get back to you when I do that. Once you find a drill bit that's about the right size, maybe just a hair bigger, get out your drill and start drilling your holes wherever you want them. I recommend either on the front or on the sides. Top you could do that, but mine are too big to uh, long to do that, so let's get drilling. Before you start drilling, um, take your Altoids container, or whatever container you're using, and before you drill, take, or where you want to drill, take a anvil and a small hammer and poke a very small little indent or hole where you want it. This will help the drill bit start it, especially if you're using a big drill bit like I am. Okay. Like so. Okay, just make sure your switch fits in there. Not too snug. And you are ready to uh, cut your next hole for the light. The first step in cutting the hole for the light would be to put your circuit board where you want it in relation to the switches and in relation to the entire thing. Um, I may have made my wires a little too long. I have to pull them over a few times. But pretty much just get it where you want it and then uh, make sure you have a little bit of room to move it. And look where that is on the cover. That's right about there. So I'm just going to cut a nice little hole there and see how that works out. If you don't want to cut a hole, you can just leave it like this. Install your battery and install switches and then. Uh, maybe hot glue that down in there so you can close it when it, you know, if it's raining out or something. Okay, so now you got your nice little hole drilled. It's not the size of the flash. We're gonna put the, the uh, electronics in to make sure everything fits together nicely. So, uh, pop it open. Install your little unit. I'm going to put the wires in there first. Okay. And there you go. Flash right there. So now it's time to attach the little switches and put the battery in and do a full scale test. Alright, so now that you have your electronics attached, the uh, switches bolted on with the nuts. The battery in place, and you hold cut and uh, sand it down a little bit. Um, I found out that nothing had to be mounted because it just fit in there nice and snug. Um, the wires bent down, so let's close it up. As you can see, it doesn't align perfectly, but trust me, it delivers quite the flash. So press your little button, can you charging up? And then hit the detonate button. Wow, that was great. So now I'm going to do it over at the wall over there. Just to show you how bright it is. In three, two, one. How 
don't think the camera quite caught that. Key in three, two, one. There we go. So that was just the representation of how bright this is. There we go. So, you can uh, paint this container if you don't like the uh, color of it. Oh, one more thing. Take some electrical tape or any kind of tape for that matter. And just tape it closed to make sure it doesn't open up. Because that might become a problem. So yeah, you can paint it if you want. Uh, black or camo, whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to leave it for now. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.